All right, guys, my apologies for the lackage of video for this part. I s seem to accidentally have deleted it. I'm really beating up on myself right now because this is my very first major mistake. I'm not talking like, you know, post-commentary minor mistake I forgot to record live. This is my first major mistake. I deleted the video content. I deleted the files. And on top of that, they're no longer on my computer. This is my biggest mistake. I'm truly, truly sorry for this. What I can't cover is... At the ancient capital... Essentially, Sephiroth, or at least a vision of Sephiroth, has told the cloud to go further north. And what I've done is that I've said, let's ignore this. Let's do some optionals. Right now, there's a four Condor battle. I did that battle. I can't remember off the top of my head what you get for a reward. But if you're playing this alongside me right now, once you come out and go on to disc two, would be the best time to do Fort Condor. And it would also be a great time to go ahead and purchase any items you haven't purchased yet. Because, well, some of the inventories change and no longer sell certain items. Specifically off the top of my head is Rocket Towns, weapon store and the merchant inside the Costa del Sol bar who will sell you platinum bangles. Well, not necessarily platinum bangles, I don't think. But he still sells you... Yeah, he sells you something that increases double growth. Those two off the top of my head, I know change their inventory. So it would be a good idea to make sure you got their items. But just to be safe, purchase everything. And a good place to grind up. You will see this in part 72. I'm sorry for the missing part 71 again. The best place to grind is actually in Junon, in the area where this platoon of soldiers are being drilled. There's this red thing on the wall, you press that, you run around a little bit, you go into a random encounter, make sure you have Beta and Aqualung, use the enemy skills once per character or twice, and this way you'll kill everything there. And also, it might be a good time to go ahead and get the enemy skills for the third enemy skill you've picked up. This way it'll decrease the frustration level later on in the game when you don't have these enemy skills. I've, that's pretty much it. Essentially what happened, we started disc 2, Sephiroth told us where to go, we ignored him, we did Fort Condor, and then the video cut off pretty much. Not a whole lot happened. But still, I'm sorry, there's no video content, Please don't try to find my house and please don't try to kill me. I'm very, 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 very sorry. Alright. That's it for this part. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe your frustration. And in the next part, you will see the results of my training. So, until then.